they're not very big. I thought they'd be a little, I thought they'd have some pretty decent size, you know, some chalupa eating bastards, but they're pretty small, honestly. Yeah, we, no, that was, that was, a uh, Alpine. We played Anthony, we, we played Anthony we played senior year, or, uh, his, uh, sophomore year. Hey, guys, remember? At a local high school football game in Anthony, Texas, a fan spewed racism. It was caught on a hot mic. Dr. Cassidy McBrayer, superintendent of Hawley ISD, would put out the following statement. We do not in any way condone the behavior, and if we identify that the individual as a Hawley student or staff, it will be handled immediately. Hawley would go on to beat Anthony 63-18 in the bi-district round of the UIL 2AD1 playoffs, but the game was completely overshadowed locally by the bigotry flying for all to hear on the live stream. Many in the Anthony community called into the local station expressing outrage at what they heard. Anthony ISD would also put out a statement which read, Holly ISD has offered a prompt apology and assured Anthony that the comments did not come from their staff, but rather from an unknown individual. The statement would continue. The regrettable remarks are a disheartening reality of of the enduring presence of prejudice that can occur anywhere at any time. The belief that these expressions were articulated by an adult toward teenagers only magnifies the gravity of the situation. No adult should tear down a student slash athlete in this despicable manner. Kennetio School District, upon hearing the outrageous comment, posted this photo with the hashtag Chalupa Powered. Many have praised the move as they show their support. Felix Chavez of the El Paso Times would throw cold water on the claim that the voice heard was from, well, some mystery man. He opens his column as follows. A racist comment by someone nobody seems to know was overheard on an unattended hot microphone during the broadcast of the Anthony versus Hawley Class 2A Division 1 by district playoff game on Thursday night in Wink and caused a social media firestorm on Friday. McBriar would add on Facebook that the inappropriate comments were made by spectators and not their local Bearcat announcers, adding that their broadcast broadcast feed was dead during halftime, yet for some reason, McBrayer, the superintendent, took down her statement on the social media platform. For what reason? Remains to be seen. KFOX 14 has the screenshot. To be clear, the game was being streamed by Wink Independent School District's YouTube page, but there were no announcers on the broadcast of the neutral side game, and the comment was overheard off a microphone that was picked up from around the stadium. To add more info, Wink superintendent, who's name is Scotty Carmen would speak with local media and state the games use a certain type of camera that is essentially robotic it moves based on what transpires in the field of play meaning there is no camera operator Carmen went on to say the man's voice overheard is someone he does not know many supporters would voice their disapproval after hearing the comments on the live stream which you can see on your screens at the moment we share their disappointment and wish for the man to be held accountable for what he has done to this community hearing the calls from those parents when they dialed in to local Local media and hearing how upset they were should upset everybody. Someone knows who this is, okay? I am asking that community and the communities in the neighboring towns, help out the investigation. Identify this person. The only way that we could better ourselves is that when stuff like this goes viral and public, we band together to say no. So I hope that this man is identified and I hope that there is some sort of retribution because he is deserving of it.